overlay on, by the way. Uh, yeah. Why not? It makes it easier, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Because I won't be able to see any of this, so it's up to you to respond to people. Sure. If anybody shows up. <laughs> sure, sure. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, I was looking. This is the, the last thing I was doing in here was for um, also with WebView. For uh, who was it? The With the trading view embedded widget. Remember this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember this. No, but I don't thing. remember the name of the person. But yeah, mm -hmm. that was a good hack as well. <laughs> so we can, we can start with you because we are live right now, right? Yeah, we are live. We can start mm -hmm. with uh, explaining you what we will do today if you want to. Yeah, if you want to, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, the thing is that um, so sometimes there is a widget that uh, probably you need uh, to extend the functionality of, of them. So for example, like two examples that I that I can think of my on uh, top of my head is this web view X, which is actually used in uh, built in in Flutterflow, but it's not using the, the whole functionality of the uh, package. This is one example. And the other example is, uh, I have another example, which is um, the dynamic uh, pages, which is actually using another package from Flutter. And um, and again, it's not uh, Flutterflow, it's not using the whole, um, the whole package uh, functionality. So the basic idea is that we can show you right now how you'll be able to have a package that is built in, in Flutterflow and extend this package and use functionality that are not built in in Flutterflow. I don't know if I explained it the, the right way, but yeah, this is what- Yeah, I think so. I mean, to give the kind of specific uh, use case in um, the web view is obviously great in Flutterflow. It displays all the kind of the normal things you would want to, but what it doesn't allow you to do is easily communicate back and forth with the actual Flutter application. And that is a power. <laughs> Those are features and functionalities that actually exist in this widget in the underlying package that it's built on, which is called WebUX. Um, Flutterflow uses a kind of customized version of that. And by customized, it's exactly the same. It's just they've uh, trimmed down some of the options to make it more or less or whatever. Um, but there are a lot of extra options that could be enabled. Um, and the goal here today is to have Dimitar show me something that I've been struggling to do for months, which is to take essentially the standard code that you can see for the web view widget in Flutterflow and use that as the basis for a custom widget, um, but re-enabling, if you like, uh, that extra functionality so that we can do things like pass variables into the the content of the web view and have a response come back from the web view, for instance, after a user logs in or to, you know, even just to show the uh, URL that they've navigated to so that then your app can respond accordingly on my app. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. And uh, the whole idea is to just show this uh, like in a general kind of view so everyone can apply, apply those things that we'll show you, we'll show them today to, to other kind of packages or widgets. This is the whole idea. So I will try to be as general as possible when I'm explaining. And I will try not to get lost. But yeah, this. essentially this is because the same principles we're doing today, from what I understand exactly. at least, should yeah. enable if there's ever a missing feature such as text field doesn't have max characters, though I think it does now, right? But that was yeah. for a long time something that kept coming up. Um, yeah. you would technically be able to take the text field widget and then just go and enable that option um, exactly. in a pretty standardized process. So we're going to go exactly. from square zero um, and I'm going to do whatever you tell me to, Dimitar, basically. Yeah, so first thing first, as we, as you already did done this, but uh, first things first, we need to create a new Flutterflow project. And in our case, we need to have uh, a new page and inside this page, we need to have the widget 
uh, that uh, we want to change or modify. And in our case, it's uh, the web view widget. And if you can open the web view package inside the uh, the, the packages uh, that I also, it's uh, yeah, the pub dev, question. Pub that dev. One question before you start. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Which is when you say a blank page with web view, can I have it in a column? Can I have the app bar there? Or should I delete literally matter. everything apart from the one widget? Those don't matter. It doesn't right? matter. Or, it doesn't okay, matter okay. at all. Yeah. So just, you want just we need, the we web need view this. Package? Yeah. So, yeah, just if you can click it on. Yeah, sure. So the whole idea is that right now, um, and, 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 and before, before I start, because right now I want to compare it. But uh, we can start from the web view, and the version is uh, zero to one that is using mm -hmm. used, and uh, this is the latest version. And actually, I saw that this is the Feather Four is also, uh, also using the latest version, uh, which is important because the first thing first we need to check that both versions are the same. Because if they are not the same, probably something can can be broken or. It will not work. So in order and how to do, do you this, know this is the how do you know this is the yeah, package? In order to in uh, order to do yeah. this, yeah, in order to do this, we need to uh, open download the code like a zip version of the code, and then open it either in uh, Android Studio or you can show your way of uh, uh, opening the package in the in your uh, the platform you are using to open the uh, the code inside, right? Of course, yeah. So I'm going to show you how, because I refuse to use Android Studio Pro. So uh, Jimmy Charles is being accommodating here, and we're actually going to use an online uh, code editor. But I'm going to take one step back, which is how do you know which package? There are a lot of packages on PubDiv. How do we know that this one, this WebView widget in Flutterflow is WebView X.21? Yeah. And in order. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. No, you, you go. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I can guide you through, but essentially the reason how we found that out, this is your basic structure of uh, any any kind of Flutterflow project. The core stuff is in the lib. Um, and what you'll see here, you essentially have one per page, uh, one folder per page, but this Flutterflow folder um, is a special one. This has essentially when Flutterflow is using a customized version of a existing widget, for instance, this one here, WebView, um, this is where you will find the kind of core code for it. Um, and there in the dependencies at the top. So this is all of the stuff um, that it relies on essentially. Most of this stuff is on almost every single page, but this one right here is how we found out that it's WebView X. And then you can also see as Dimitar said, what version it is in, I kind of went faster, but uh, in back at the top level in your pub spec. Exactly. At the bottom, you're going to see this exactly. is the WebView X package, and then this is the version number. So um, exactly. So this yeah. is important to be the same version. So we 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 can start from this. This is the same version. Cool. So, so in the, our case, it's open great. up. I need to open up my code, basically, right? Yeah. So you need to download okay, so, it from the. Uh, since platform. I don't have Android Studio Pro, what I'm going to do is I've pushed to GitHub. Um, as normal, I've got my Flutterflow and my main branch. Um, this obviously is uh, one behind. The Flutterflow is the Flutterflow branch of your GitHub um, is where the latest code always goes to. I'm just going to put merge this, so create pull request, just so it goes straight into the main branch. It's going to do it automatically. Again, I don't have Git or anything fancy installed on my computer because I refuse. Cool. So now I've only got one branch, which is my main branch, and. Uh, what I am as recent pushes, yep, it's good. So if I refresh that, that will go away. So now I've got my latest uh, with that web view page, hopefully. Uh, no, I don't. My flex do. Why do I not have my web view page? Must be the old version. Okay, so I'm going to do two things at once here. I'm going to push this again. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Uh, so, so you can, because but, you can do it from, you can also download it from like a zip yeah. file or you can. I can, you can show put this it example like a, as well. So I can download yeah, it here. Or you can. Yeah, exactly. This is what you'll often find Dimitar or other people when they're trying to help people debug yeah. in the community. It says this warning, which you don't necessarily need to worry about right now. And I know I need to go rename it. 
to the smooth red. I'm just going to rename it to take away this number two, just so I know. And then what we're going to do is rather than open it in Android Studio Pro, we're going to upload it to a website called FlutLab. FlutLab is an online IDE. It looks very similar to Android Studio Pro, but it's essentially a slimmed down version of it. So um, it's free to use, uh, at least the basic version. Um, and you can, once you've downloaded that zip file, you can literally just upload it from here. That same zip file we got from Flutterflow. And, and there you go. Now you are in the view that Dimitar wants me to be in, in order to see okay. what I need to see. So what do I need to see? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So the thing is that uh, can you can you right now can you open the file that you create a page with the widget that we want to modify? Can we, so we the can actual the, so this yes. here the Dart file. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So inside this page, uh, we can see on the line at least in my line it's forty four. I don't know. It's, if it is the same line as you, 44. Is it 44? Yeah, it be 44. yeah. So okay. when you go to this line, you can see that this is actually the widget that is uh, used and it's a Flutter Flow web view. Um, can I ask a stupid question before we go? Sure. Can you walk me through? Can you just walk? Sorry, I'm going to ask a lot of stupid questions. But can you walk me through, like, if I compare this? To what I have here, yeah. So I have a web view. <laughs> I have yeah. a web view page, page called web view, a column. I have an app bar with a title. If you were just gonna yeah. walk me through really quickly what I'm looking at in this thing, so I know these are my like uh, dependencies, right? These are the stuff sure. that gets imported. But sure. what is all can this you, junk? Can you can you just <laughs> can you just click also on the Flutterflow to view the code when you're in the page in Flutterflow? When you go yeah. back to the Flutter flow and click view code, so we can compare yeah. the what you see in Flutter flow and what you see in the in the in the actual code, because it they should, they be, the should be the same. It should be the same yeah. exactly. Um, but uh, but yeah, for the first uh, lines are the important the import lines, which are actually importing mm -hmm. uh, stuffs like um, uh, ex export imported libraries or packages yeah. or whatever, like a code that you, you have in some other places that you are using in this this uh, page. And, uh, so uh, so they, you're like importing them to this page. So the first five lines mm -hmm. are like this, are for this. Mm -hmm. And then we have the class, uh, which is actually the name of the page in the general, in Flutterflow. They actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, Wherever, yeah, wherever your page name is, like uh, demo, they will be just put a, a widget after that. So it'll mm -hmm. be demo widget. And your, in our case, it's web uh, view widget. Mm -hmm. And then uh, always it always extends the uh, state for widget. I don't want to go in much details uh, right no, now. No, yeah, just in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah because because this is like... Uh, so we, this is the we're trying setup, to be, basically. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to be like a non-code... Uh, experience yeah, for the users but yeah <laughs> I, I will try to explain in general what what this lines of code mm -hmm. means and uh so basically uh the the important part you need is uh the uh, the lines after 14 uh which is okay. uh, the class uh, web view uh, widget state which extends mm -hmm. the state uh, web view widget and then we have uh, the the build uh, widget, mm -hmm. and then we have the scatterfall. So right now, what you see here, we have the scatterfall, okay. and we have the app bar. And yeah. uh, when we have the app bar, it's uh, wherever we use the app bar in Flutterflow, it will show here. And mm -hmm. we have the text of the app bar. And mm -hmm. uh, if we if on we go option. after that on the line, yeah, exactly on the options, and we go uh, line thirty seven, we have the body, and we have a save area which is actually i think in flutterflow is just a check whatever you want the safe area or not so mm -hmm. if you check this safe area it will just add or remove this widget okay, okay. Uh, this is the basically Oops. what 
what is what is going on uh, underneath yeah. the flutter flow. And then we have uh, gesture detection and so on and so forth. And then we mm -hmm. have on the line 44, uh, yeah. we have the widget that we are using right now. So okay. if you just if you just click right right button, I think the right button it will to work and then go to definition or something like, like that was uh, this go to definition. Yes. yes. So this okay. is actually yeah. So this is actually the uh, the code that is actually the built-in code. The, the firmware code of uh, Firebase mm -hmm. uh, that that are using the Firebase is using to generate this uh, web view, uh, and it's called the uh, Flutter Flow. Yeah, the, yeah, sorry, Flutter Flow, and it's called Flutter Flow Web View because they are not using the mm -hmm. original web view, and they're using a, a based version of the original one. So what we need to do, the most important thing right now, is to actually get the whole code go to the uh, Flutter flow and create a new widget and copy and paste okay. this code inside the uh, Flutter flow. But before you do, the, do, do this, actually, uh, what I will do is just go to the, uh, in, my, in my case, uh, Android Studio, and then mm -hmm. I will just create a new uh, folder and I'll just uh, okay. name it the custom widget or something like that because i don't remember uh what was so custom called i was i don't remember what is the exactly the name that flutter flow is okay. using when there when there is a custom code created uh, yeah. but let, let's let's uh, let's imagine that uh, uh we know the the name of the folder it's it's should not it be in the lib? Important right should now it, oh, it should okay, be in, inside the lip it should be inside okay. the lip, and then we can we have created uh, we we need to create a new okay. folder, a uh, custom widget, for example, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then we need to create a new uh, Dart file, and we did this file. Dart file could be like custom uh, custom web, web view. view, for example. Yeah, that Dart, okay. and then we can copy paste uh, actually the code from. Uh, one from Flutter Flow web view to custom. Okay, so not from my web view page, but from the one I got when I went definition and then I get here. And exactly. Part, do I it's take the whole the part? Thing? The whole part, like, the entire thing. Yes. From line one port. to everything? Yes. Like that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Line one to okay. Yes, because we need the that. imports as well. Okay. And why we are doing this, now, I mean, why we are doing this here. And not in Flutter flow because if we are doing this in Flutter flow, we will not see the errors. So, for okay. example, if you delete um, the code on line four, delete this code. Yeah. I don't know if your editor, because I'm in, as I said, I'm doing this in Android mm -hmm. Studio, and I'm getting errors on line thirty-one that web view is not uh, found. I don't know okay. if. I'm not sure because I didn't use this this editor that you are using. Oh, I know what can it you is. Go, it's because can you go? I think yeah. I need to call it a Dart file. Dart, Dart. Probably. There we go. Yes. <laughs> so okay. now I will. Uh, so now I think I get this. Uh, Did you? If I go back and find it. Custom web view. Dart. Uh, probably it's not. Uh, probably you have to reopen it again or. Format what do document. I don't know. I think because it's running the. I think it's trying to run the analyzer right now. So I think it might just. Yeah, I think it's trying. To, it's analyzing it right now. Ah, so okay. I think it's just that so it's maybe a little wait. bit slower than with Android Studio. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. To, okay. Yeah. In the meantime, in the meantime, you can just copy and paste the whole. Uh, uh, I think I already yeah, the whole. Yeah. All Sorry, the data. I already broke it. Okay. Because <laughs> I deleted no, the line okay. you told me to delete. There we go. Yeah, okay, it's cool. okay. So, uh, take so all you, this you into Flutter create, Flow? Yeah, exactly. Create a all of this custom widget. Okay, so back into my friendly area where I'm comfortable. And so yeah. that's a custom code here. Yeah. Custom widget. Yeah. yeah. And does it matter what I call it? Just No, it doesn't matter what you call it. Doesn't it doesn't matter? No. Okay. And then this option, 
exclude from compilation? Yes, we, this it. option. Yeah, this is option. This option is very important because uh, okay. right now we will, we will ex access a code that is outside of this box, the frame box, because mm -hmm. Flutterflow it's using only this frame box, and uh, mm -hmm. if you paste some code that is outside this frame box, it will just give me an error, and it will not okay. com compile. So it's very important to to enable this option because we oh. don't care about the errors that Flutterflow is uh, giving us. That is, I have never we know used what... that option once. <laughs> yeah. That explains it's very why important we've never been option. able to build anything. <laughs> yes, it's a very important okay. option if you want to use, if you want to build something that it's outside of the box, so to say. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, you need so this I can option. paste this uh, here, yeah? this like that. Yes, exactly. You paste this here, and right now you 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 get like one thousand errors, which is actually mm -hmm. fine, uh, because okay. then you can just save this right now as, as it is. You can just save it. Yeah. Okay. I don't need to add any dependencies. Uh, uh, no, the thing is that right now uh, we will go back to the editor. Okay, okay, okay. And we hope so that the editor yeah. it's it's um, ah it's my flat code. Yeah. yeah. So so mm. what what I want to show is that uh, the errors that are that are showing inside the editor, the editor because this is very it's... important probably. Probably you can try to delete this file and uh, and create it again like a new name of the file or something like that okay. and see and that put it put that dart at the beginning when you create it so we can see. Yeah, yeah. If, okay. uh, I was gonna say yeah. or also you can open it in yours uh, in your Android Studio, but I'd like let's try one more time with this. So um, yeah, sure. Custom web let's web uh, I to type two. Dart, dart, yeah, enter full file. Yeah. Okay. And now paste the code. Yeah. There we go. So now it's actually okay. Yeah. It wasn't doing so that for it. If you if you yeah. comment or delete uh, the fifth line, right yeah. now you should be able to see some errors online. Woo! Uh, yep. Yes. Yeah, that's great. That's what we are expecting it. So that's great. So now you can go back. Uh, so I mean, under, like, under, <laughs> yeah, yeah, under, exactly. So, so yeah, right now, uh, this is very important when we copy and paste the code because right now, as I to sum up what we've done so mm -hmm. far, we, we basically copy and paste a code that we uh, used uh, from uh, uh, from Flutterflow. So, mm -hmm. with that in mind. We can now uh, go to back to because first we have to see if we don't have any errors, and right now we okay. don't have any errors, right? So this is great. No. And this code okay. should work. So if we go back to Flutterflow, and then we uh, try to use this uh, custom widget, mm -hmm. uh, it should be it should be able to work. So if to you compile can, it or to uh, you can compile it. It should be able to compile. Because you don't have any errors. It and what would make able. it have errors? Why, like, so what you're testing there is that it's even if you move that block of code away from where it used to live, essentially, in the Flutter yeah. folder and just make it entirely separate, that it can live by itself. Is that sort of what you're doing? Yes, exactly. So, first yeah. thing first, we need to move this block of code to another place and check mm -hmm. if we have any errors if we have if we don't have okay. any errors that's great but if we have any errors we have to fix them and usually it's okay. a very easy fix uh 99 of the time we just need to uh include uh, there is not uh, some the importer uh, are mixing or uh, or something like that so for example if we don't have this this line on uh the fifth line uh, mm -hmm. i think uh, okay, if you if you yeah if you delete it again, you go to the line. Uh, can you can you delete also the first line because you see you have a blank line, so we don't have the same yeah exactly. Okay, so we okay. don't have the same page number. So if if you, if you go to the line thirty one, you should be this. You should be see. You, you should see the first error. No, it's it's in your case it's twenty nine. I I don't know. I why. think I've deleted but more lines than I should have. <laughs> I think I've deleted along really? the way. I think I okay, accidentally so. deleted. No, maybe not. Okay. All okay. right. So your line is 31. Mine, Mine is, is 31. 
and your so probably it's because of the formatting of the code. Uh, so yeah, the, when you see this web view, when you click on it, mm -hmm. and then uh, you should be because in Android Studio, I don't know if, uh, as I said, mm -hmm. I don't know in your error editor, but when I go in Android Studio, and I just uh, 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 mouse over the error when I go over the error, mm -hmm. and then it says import library. And then it suggests me okay. the library that I need to import. So in our case, the code that we just deleted, it suggested me, mm -hmm. do you want to import this library? So if I click okay. this button, it will just import me the library automatically and it will fix the error. I don't know if you can do this in this particular editor. Uh, if you have Mine's something not like- not as clever, maybe as you, like it's telling me that uh, it's giving me a more you technical version of the same thing, basically. So it's saying that just, it doesn't understand what it means, yes. but it doesn't have any yes. good fixes it suggests for me. <laughs> yes, probably, probably, yeah. But if, if you don't have uh, this uh, suggestion to import a library, you don't mm -hmm. have this, right? On the 9, no, on no, the 29, it should be on the 29. It's just saying view problem. The method web okay. view isn't defined. Okay, so in this case, uh, I will suggest uh, to use Android Studio in this <laughs> particular case if you, if you have yeah. errors. If you have errors. If you mm -hmm. don't have errors, then you can stick with this editor and it will be good to go. You'll be good to go. But if you have some errors, if you copy and paste the code over here and you have some errors, I would suggest you to to try with Android Studio because Android Studio is actually, as I said, 99% of the time, it will suggest you what you would, what you have to do. Mm -hmm. And in this case, you just suggest you to import this line that mm -hmm. you just imported and everything will work. Um, so yeah. Uh, so, so, we saved. Should, no yeah. Errors. so we should have no errors, which is great. And now you can create a new page and then, and then import this uh, new, uh, widget okay. because first things first we need to make sure that the widget that we uh, the code that we used for this new widget is working mm -hmm. uh, because and then we can extend it after that and add our so where do I find where do I find logic. that widget here right uh, yes so exactly. in the second one okay and then yes, just uh, custom web view yes and then you can just uh, extend it, uh, expand it, sorry, like 100% or something like that. So yeah, both ways or yeah. Yeah, and now if you if you uh, if you run a test mode or run, it sh we should be able to see it. But uh, just before, okay. Yes. The thing is that I don't know if you have uh, a link to this page because if you don't have a link to this page, you um, I do not. not. To open it, the right? other thing is, will it load if it doesn't have a, any parameter set, like the URL? Yes, you are right. You are right. Uh, we have to fix yeah. that as well uh, first. So you can you can just uh, close the running uh, because it will run, yeah. and we don't need this right now. Yeah. So you're right. We should add uh, dependency first. So you can click on depend add dependencies. Dependency. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, sorry, not dependency, uh, parameters. Uh, parameter, uh, right? Yeah. Yes, parameters. So, so this is like where I would normally I would normally put the URL in. So I want to, be yes, able to do exactly. the same thing, right? Yes, exactly. So you need to, in our case, we'll, we can use the default ones, uh, which are um, width, because I think we need the width, right? But that's here, right? Is that already here or no? Is it probably? You're right. Which is width so, and height required. Yeah. Yes. So we have that already. Okay. Then then we will need uh, the URL, right? The URL, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I can call it anything, or it has to be very specifically named. You can call it anything, but if you call mm -hmm. it anything, so for example, if you call it URL underscore yes. <laughs> or something, you have to yeah. change it also on the right side. When it's well, arrow, you have to change it to, uh, for example, like every case, place I see URL. So like here. Yes. When you see, it. when you see, yes. When you see, uh, and now it's giving you error, which is fine because you have first, you have to change it in all the places and this error will be uh, gone after that. Okay. Um, and then you have also to, here. 
you have to change it, yes. At every place that you see the arrow, you have to change it. I think there are four places, isn't it? One, two, <laughs> three, four. URL bypass, source type URL, uh, widget bypass. I've made your life difficult, but these are the kind of problems I run into. So source type URL bypass, <laughs> source type dot URL. I, I, in Android Let's Studio, see. I see only four. Hmm. So okay, so I changed be... it one, two, three, and yes, then this is I'm... the fourth one. Yeah. So this no, it's not. The, it's not this. No? It's on the bottom. Ah, here. It's... Yes. Ah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So these and... three things are like the special ones, right? Like but you should. Yeah, but you should not see the error right now. If you change it, <laughs> I broke it. You are. Is it? Isn't a field in the enclosing class? Um. Let me see. I don't know. Um, widget. Okay, so let me see. I I uh, I remade it. I renamed it from uh, from Android Studio. So I see what is going on here. Well, I have no idea if anybody's actually here or asking questions, but um, if you are. Yeah, for 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 now, people are just saying hi. <laughs> So, so yeah, if you change the line on line nine, is it line nine on your code as well? Uh, I have nine is required this URL. Yes. So line nine, line 23. Okay. So and then line this. 38. 23 is, uh, yeah, okay, 22 it is for me, final string URL test. Yeah. And then yes. 28 20, is. Uh, 38. 38, sorry. 38 JavaScript mode, um, or is it initial source type? Initial, right? initial content. Initial no, it should be initial uh, content. Isn't oh, it? initial content. Yeah, okay. Yep, I've changed that yeah. one. So that one says widget.url yeah. test, yeah? Exactly, yes. Okay. And then on the bottom, it should yep, be here. line 60, 66 is, it's mine. I think so maybe I just need to get the, maybe I just need to format and then they will disappear. No? Oh, that's strange, uh, but um, but what we what we what we what we need to do also, as now I remember, is that we need to also change the name of the widget. So in this case, in our case, uh, it's a custom widget web view. It's the name of the widget, and we need to also uh, name this because right now it's named Photo Flow Web View, and this yeah. is the name of the widget. But it should be um custom web view uh, so whatever i put view. here right so whatever wait I put a here. second wait a second uh, uh, i will i will just format mm -hmm. it right now uh using uh android to uh under studio and then i will send you can mm -hmm. i just send you the code is do you think it's possible to send the code over uh, uh, well did you if you open flat lab can you just copy paste it there i shared the project link with you i think yeah, sure. I can uh, try to do this. Or no, but maybe you're not an editor. So maybe it doesn't work. Only invite if you can. No, okay. So just can you put it on paste bin or something? Uh, sure. Because I don't see any errors inside my code. So your code, your code's fancy. My code's not as good as your code. <laughs> so you should you should be on the we should be on the same page, I think. Uh, so let me try. To create problem with you developers, case. you think yeah. it's all easy. It's never easy. <laughs> so this is the code. Uh, and you can try this code. This code should work, anywhere. as I said, because on, I don't see any On errors. Telegram or something? OK. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. OK, so I'll just take a copy of the clipboard. So you're saying if I paste this here, it should magically disappear. It should. I don't know. It should. <laughs> I think it disappears, right? Ah, okay. So this was the so the difference between your if I uh, I can't do undo anything, but the difference is your here class is custom web view and mine wasn't. Mine was Flutterflow web view. Yeah, so that doesn't matter. Difference. Mm, oh. Yeah, that, that was one of the difference, but uh, your error was uh, uh, causing something else, not, not this. Uh, but make sure 
on the line uh, six is my line. What is your line? It might be fifth line. So uh, make fifth. sure that this name class that it says class. Make sure that this yeah. name on the right and on the left are the same name. So you can copy yeah. name from the right and and put it on the left. So to be sure that we have the same name. And then here as well. No, that's that's all. That's all. That's not all. on line seven. No, because we we because we're copying it from the right side, which is oh from the right the, to the left. Okay. Yes. Right. Because I did on the right the side, should, yeah. I did it yeah, from, the left copy it from the right. From the right. Okay. Yeah, from the right to left because the right side is the legit side. The correct. And the left code. side, the correct side. Yes. It's breaking everything. Here. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. and now and if, also, you, if you try, I have to change yeah. this too because I called mine URL test. You called yours URL test. Okay. So okay. now we're good, right? Yeah, we should be good. And if you uh, if you test, save it, and compile it, uh, you can try and test it and see if it's working. How do I force it to compile? Uh, do I? You can you can because we we click the okay. check that we don't need to. Uh, oh, to we compile. don't need to compile it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so ah, yeah, so cool. I think we're good to go. Uh, and now you should be able to see an option to add the uh, arrow, isn't it? Yeah, I do. www.google.com. Yes, and now we can try to run it and see that it it works. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Should we take bets? Who wants to take bets? Uh, I will not take bet <laughs> <laughs> if it's working. But uh, but yeah, the meantime, the whole idea is to be able to uh, copy some part of Flutterflow and then reproduce it in a custom widget. And so see to be very if clear, widget... yeah. can I check something? So to be very clear, sure. when I'm going through this, the things that I need to make sure is that whatever I've got here, needs to be like line five it needs to be line six it needs to be like all the way down right yeah the thing is that yes the thing is because i didn't do that last you, time so <laughs> yes when you copy yeah because I, I forgot to mention that but when you copy and paste the code in in our mm -hmm. case and most of the cases uh we cannot use the same name of a class uh in a like project this, you mean, right yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. So this is this is logically uh, thinking. Uh, so you can you have you have to rename the class. So it uh, should be like uh, custom web view two or custom web view mm -hmm. widget or whatever. You should be uh, able to 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 be with uh, different names because if it's the mm -hmm. same name, uh, it can get uh, some conflicts and uh, the code can get messy mm -hmm. and. Uh, you should know uh, okay. what is going on. So yeah, first thing first is that, and then uh, parameters. Uh, it's very they are very important as well. We should be able to add the parameters. But now I now I remember that uh, do we have a link to this page? Because no, that's what I was just about to say. Yes. <laughs> we don't. Yes. We definitely don't have a link to this page. Uh, yes. So this if is I just actually, go to the the start page or whatever. Yes, this is actually I'm, I'm forgetting about this like 99% of the time. So yeah, it's a common mistake. Uh, I'm just going to make uh, some I don't know, button or something here. Uh, can, you, can you actually do yeah. two links? The one that with the uh, default web view and yeah. the, the other one with, that we created so we can compare. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So. Um, where can I put my two buttons? Um, okay, let me just stick them in this column here. I don't want to delete the stuff I already have. Uh, let me just put a row. Yeah. So in the meantime, in the comments, if someone, I don't know if you see how many people are watching because I don't think I can see I have this. No idea. I think but, it's just probably. Uh, nice. it's, yeah. <laughs> no, there are some people, I think. But okay. yeah, if you have some questions, you can just write it and write them in the chat. Now I'm just gonna just add a little padding. Add a little padding. Is it able to... Um. Okay. Cool. So this one is going to be for uh, custom web view. Let's call it. 
quer dizer que and then this one is for normal web view, right? Yes, and if the custom widget is not working, uh, we'll probably need to do it the other way around because there are two ways the creating the custom um, widget. Mm -hmm. One way is to creating it by copy and pasting the code and then change the name, mm -hmm. which is one way of doing it, but sometimes it may not work because we are missing something. But the other way is to create a custom widget and then, then click on the, uh, can you go to the custom widget and create like a, start to create a new one? Like I create a new one? Yes, and then just any name and then view boilet, yeah, exactly. If you click this code, uh, mm -hmm. you just, but, but yeah, actually before clicking this code, just add one parameter like the arrow parameter. Mm -hmm. I know the parameter, not the dependency. Uh, yes, and this should be a string. So it should be a string. Yep. And then click on, yeah, click this. And then you, you get oh, already, you get the uh, the power plate of uh, the template mm -hmm. or the skeleton of the widget, of the custom widget. And you already have the name and you already have the uh, the parameters that you need. So when this you is click normally to... what I try to do. Normally, I try when I've tried and failed before. I've tried to take something. We can, we can take the boiler plate. We... I've tried to take something from pub dev and like shove them together, and it never really works. Yeah. Always... Can you can you apply? It? Yes, exactly. And we can do it this way as well if you want to. I don't know if okay. we have time. Like we have like twenty minutes left. But uh, yeah, let let let's see if if let it's loaded. Let me just see if this works first. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So normal web view. Works. Yeah. <laughs> and custom web view sort of works. It doesn't work because it's not open like uh, no, it's not the right the, page. Uh, the Google, right? It's not yeah. open opening Google, right? Okay. No, it should be opening uh, Google. So yeah. The thing is that. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that um, it's strange because uh, this is the page. Can you can you? change the the normal one to open google as well can you do this uh, yeah sure because i think by default it's uh, opening um, this page right by default you know what i wait hold on a sec let me just make sure i didn't do something you know what i did they're both going to the same page okay <laughs> <laughs> it's just pure user error right there wait uh, I, can you can you can you before before running it can you change yeah. it to google oh yeah so the normal one to go to google so it always takes me so long to do it uh okay so web view this so you want me to change this to google yeah yes and name the custom one as well yeah the custom one as well or some other page doesn't matter. Just so I don't want to be the default default one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you can actually see it. Just to make sure, sure, just to make sure that it's uh, opening. Okay, something. ready. You're not yeah, opening cool. the okay. default. Okay, so now one. I can do run mode. Yeah. Cool. And uh, yeah, while while you need uh, running the run mode, um, we can uh, we can try and uh, create this from the. The second backwards. one, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, so, in our case, uh, we will uh, now we, when we have this uh, uh, because I don't see the code right now very good. But let me zoom oh, in. Do you want me to bit. zoom in? Okay. Is that better? No, it's yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay. So you have this return. Um, uh, Here. Yeah, exactly. Online uh, twenty. Okay. And we can actually. Uh, get the uh, wait a second. We don't actually need the return, but what we need 
it's to get the code. If you go to the, um, if you go to the code that we copy it from, yes. So, so is it right. is that the code, right? Yeah. So this is the code. When you, yes, it should be. Yes. So when so mm -hmm. so the other way is this is a little bit more complex to be honest mm -hmm. because you need to know what you have to uh, copy. Uh, but in mm -hmm. our case, we can copy it because we can get this overwrite. Uh, like the line 31, is it 31? To 19, 19 29, yeah, yeah. 29, exactly. So it's the I part after the build context, right? Yes, exactly. So it's, it's the part after the override because we have override in both places. So we can get it this from like uh, a point that we can what start. Does override so we do? can copy. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a start it's just, point. Just, yeah, we can take it from like a start point and then copy the code mm -hmm. from, from, from there to, to like the. From this whole line, yeah? Yes, like line this line, yeah. yes, exactly. To 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 here, yes, exactly. Here, yeah. To here, yes, and then we can copy and paste inside the yes. So we have to like copy inside it. the container, yeah. Yes, like no, it's not 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 inside the container. We have to delete everything okay. that it's uh, after the override. Yes, exactly. From here and two lines after that, okay. one more line, one more line. Yes, like that. Yes. And delete this line as well. Oops. This one, this line as well, delete it. Uh, oh, this line as well. Okay, so all the way back to override, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but we you need yeah, but you need to uh, like one curly braces. You delete one curly braces that it's. Uh, uh, you need one curly braces at the end. Oh, so, need, so like that. Yes, and then delete. Just leave okay, the so yes, exactly. this line like that, right? Exactly. There exactly, exactly okay. like that. Paste. Exactly, exactly. So when you paste right now, of course you get like one thousand million errors, which is mm -hmm. fine. Um, and then we can, uh, if you go on the bottom, mm -hmm. uh, we have to uh, copy and paste the key uh, from the other code. Okay. But this is so this is this a little stuff. bit more complex, right? And yeah, yeah. this code, this this code, we have to copy it as well. So then I put it on the bottom. Oops. So like this. Yeah, the hole. Whatever, yes, the, exactly. whatever the key is. Yes. Do I need to know what the okay. key is or can I just blindly copy it? Uh, so yeah, the key is, uh, the, the, actually those are the parameters that are connected to the uh, widget that you are using it. So, so it's the same your... thing, it's like at the start, right? Y yes, it should, yeah, it should be the same thing, yes. Okay. And then, at the start, uh, we have, uh, yeah, probably this is load already, right? Yeah, I think so. Isn't it? I preferred the other way. The other way was easier. Yeah, the other way so is much easier. This one is. Yeah, like imagine that the, the default one is not working right now. That would be great. It seems like it's not. It's not loading Google, unless Google is like block it. Uh, so now you're going to load it. Why would that be? Yes, that's strange. They should be loaded, right? Because the default one should yeah. should be should be working, right? Um, let me go back and look real quick. Uh, what you know? But when you when you change the but it doesn't the arrow, in order. To, wait, hold on a sec. Uh, when you change the URL, do you see the preview of the website? inside the inside here do you know that so basically you should if it works so um probably you can you write it with like or you can try with write it with the uh, https uh, isn't it i don't think i don't, that know, how, but, I don't um, know how the words like you can kind of see like if it's doing that it means it's trying uh, yes. If it comes back great, it means it's there. We go. See. Yeah. So, so, need, so you need the HTTPS. Yeah, I think it's like cores or whatever, cross domain stuff. Is it, okay. Okay. So that yeah. works now. So can you copy off, and paste? But see, look. See, I have to have this bypass domain restrictions on. Yeah. Okay. So can you do the same on the custom one as well? Well, except for the on the custom one, we don't have that option to bypass domain restrictions. Okay, my 
Peter just uh, wrote, you're showing one book, but I don't know which book he's talking about. If you can write oh, a comment. Uh, I, I guess he means yeah. this at the top. Uh, ah, okay. Probably you're just right. To yeah, because we're... Uh, yeah, did you, did you click? Uh, yeah, you clicked on the button. So too, I think we need these will... extra parameters, right? Uh, yeah, we need those, but I don't know if we can, um, we should, um, I mean, if, if this other way work, uh, I think this is more complex, right? And it's, uh, I'm looking at the first option, the first, option. Oh, yeah. basically I have yeah. the URL option, URL this, yes. what I don't have is the, the Boolean option to turn on and off bypass domain restrictions. So I need ah, to add, okay. uh, I need to add this parameter, right? Yeah, basically you need, need to, to have bypass. all the same parameters that I have here. So yes, I need exactly. to have bypass and I need to As call a it Boolean. Boolean. Yes. Right. And so now yes, if I save right. that. Yes, you're right. Shut. I, I think it's if probably the other one that's breaking. If we if we can need, if we need to one? use can uh, yeah, you can delete this. One? Yeah, you can delete the second one because the second one it's let's um, just focus on one. Uh, yeah, exactly. On one it's one more complex. So Otherwise, we'll never finish anything. I yeah, want my sure. custom widget. Okay, so um, so yeah, so bypass. Essentially, if I switch that on now, do we need I the horizontal need scroll and the vertical scroll? Do I didn't need... turn it on on the other one. Okay, so we don't need that on for now. But everything else is identical. Five hundred, five hundred. Uh, so the only thing here is oh, you know what? Also, it also might just be this um. I think they made some change. I saw Alex said to uh, where well, you have to have a fixed height. Um, where I'm just comparing and contrasting, right? So this one sure. is expanded 500, but I guess if it's expanded, it doesn't matter. Right? Yeah, if you can just it's make it the same uh, okay. parameters, both. So let's try it again. Yeah, if you can make Roll the same. The uh, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> so we make sure that uh, it's not it's nothing with the parameters. Uh, and, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, but yeah, the whole idea uh, is that um, if this is working, does it work? If mm -hmm. this works uh, good, yeah. Then if you can go to uh, the code editor that you're using. Yep. So I'm just uh, I'm just adding the last uh, the extra options uh, okay, sure. so that we stay just so sure. we stay consistent so that we have all the we don't sure. lose options. So yeah, sure. Boolean and boolean. Okay, yeah, cool. sure. So if I go to my code editor, yeah. Yeah, if you can go there and then uh, you can actually see uh, it's me, it's on the line 32 uh, where it says uh, WebViewX. It's. Uh, uh, yep, here. Yep. Yes, yes. And when you right click with your editor on the WebViewX and then go to definition. Yeah, exactly. So when you go okay. to definition, you actually see the source code of the WebViewX. And in our okay. case, uh, we're trying to use the uh, JS content, isn't it? What we're trying uh, yeah, to yeah, JS content, yeah. Add. So we're trying to load some JavaScript on page load to yeah. enable us to like interact with it, right? Yeah, yeah. So and where is this it, file? This file is buried somewhere in here. In uh, this file is buried. Yeah, exactly. This file is it buried, matter. and okay. it's yeah. Okay, so, so this is the WebViewX code. Okay. Yeah. So if you if you need if we need this functionality, uh, we mm -hmm. need to copy copy and paste this line only this line. Okay. And then and then paste it uh, to the one that the custom one that we are using, and then paste mm -hmm. it. Uh, on Here, in between right? the lines, the line, line, line 14, after line 14, it's me. So it's like, can you go up? Yeah, Here, it's right? like this. Yes. This chain. Yeah. After this one. Uh, mm -hmm. So we, basically, we are trying to add one more parameter. This is what we are trying to add. Okay. So I don't and, need to take the whole line, right? Or do I? Equals uh, const. You are you're good to go right now like this, but you need to add it uh, on the bottom as well. So you need three places. So in this case, okay. you need three places to add this in three places. The first place when it says uh, custom web view and then add mm -hmm. it like that, like you did. And then on the, on the second place okay. when it says final, yeah. And this is the, this is the, first, the third place. And in okay, the second, second place is when it says final and then, then add 
It's uh, 24, line 24. Oh, okay, final JS content, yeah? Yes, you need to add it and like does it need, here. Does it need some type or something, like a string? Uh, yes, we, we can put it type, of course. Uh, it could be a string right now, but I'm not sure, sure because I'm not sure because uh, let me see what is the type that they are expecting it uh, because they are expecting some some sort of uh, some strange type because it's uh, like but let let let's stick with a let's stick with okay, a okay. string right now and okay. uh, we'll see if string works. And I need to and add it here, you, right? I need to add and it here. Yes, you you need to add it on the left side as well. So I need to take uh, this name here. And did you did you add it on the third place, which is on the bottom? As okay, well? one place, two place, and then the third place is here, right? Yes. Yeah, and these ones start the JS. with JS content. Yes. Okay. Okay. So so we can do like this. Uh, don't add uh, don't add the type right now uh, because here. Uh, if you add the type, it, yes. Don't add a type here because if you add a type right right now, it will give you an error uh, because okay. uh, this is uh, some 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 type that it's uh, it's not a default type, so to say. So do I remove uh, it here? No. The thing is that we need to we need we need it here because we need to uh, we need to pass the the the, the JavaScript the code right. Okay. Right. And because we needed the string, what what types we can choose from the drop down? Can you click it so I can uh, see it? Yes. So we have this. Um, uh, yeah, we can. Yeah, the thing is that the the problem here <laughs> is that in in uh, Flutter Flow we only have those types, and mm -hmm. actually in our case this JS contact is using some other type that is actually not in the drop down. Which is mm -hmm. uh, which is a little bit tricky because we can use uh, a string, and then we have to convert this string to the type that we need to use, right? Okay. Do you see what what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So if it, this like, is a little bit the basic, tricky, the most basic is a string, right? So if you don't have yes. the option, if Flutterflow doesn't give you the option, use string and then figure yes. out how to convert it somehow, which I'm guessing yes. is this, right? Uh, not really, not really. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> But uh, uh, but yeah, let's stick with the string right now, and then we'll okay. see how we can convert it. Um, okay. So can I save? But, or... Yeah, we can. You can save right now. Did you did you add it? Yeah, you add it on the yeah. left and on the right. Okay. Uh, let's see if this is working. So that's strange, right? <laughs> uh, it's probably just user error again. So not only is my the custom web view is not working, yeah. the normal web view is now no longer. Yeah, if, if if the normal one is not working, we don't expect the custom <laughs> one to work, right? Oh, okay, so you're saying it's not necessarily an error. It shows here, but doesn't show in run mode, which is weird. Did that happen to you before? Not really. <laughs> because I didn't the use the... Any suggestions? <laughs> the web views? No. Uh, no. Because I didn't use the web view. Oh, this web, oh, okay. view. This this web is working. This one, this one is, one is working. working. But that's okay. for something okay. else. Uh, that's strange. I really think it's... I have a feeling it's because I set him to expand it or something. If anybody has any answers in the comments, please feel free to shout them out. Yeah, sure. This is collaborative learning. Um, yeah, actually, this this might be a bug if if you are right and uh, because you set it on the expand. Well, let's look at the page that's working. The page yeah. that's uh, working is this one. And this web view is positioned and it has fixed dimensions every way. So, uh, mm. 
Well, let's assume that it was working <laughs> for now. Yeah. Uh, enforce width and height. Um, if true default, the custom widget were wrapped in a container with the width and height. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so, what would be the next step? Since we've done yeah. it, so easy. yeah, so so yeah, the thing is that uh, um, when we do this, and if and if this is working, and if we copy mm -hmm. and paste the code. And if it's working, then we mm -hmm. should add the parameters that we need. In, in in our case, we only need one parameter. The JS content, right? The JS content. We well, in mm -hmm. our case, we, we need to add it in three places and four places if we count the the thing on the left side. So, that's so we need one, to... two, and then three here, right? Three on the bottom. Uh, here. Yes. Yeah? And and just so, also okay. added, just also added. Uh, no, actually, you're right. There is a four place. So, sorry, yeah, one, you're two, right. three, four. There's... And this one always starts with widget, right? So whatever yes, parameter because... I'm trying to end, it always starts. If it's a one that I'm referring to over here, I always need to start it with widget lowercase dot, whatever the name exactly. of the parameter is, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. Exactly. And uh, just yeah, just in our case, at on those four places. And then mm -hmm. uh, add it on the left. And how we know that uh, we need to add this on the web view X because when you go to the editor, because this is probably also important to to, um, to say as well. Or... Yes, yes. And then when you go to the line uh, uh, twenty nine, it's I think it's your case, isn't it? Twenty nine. But no, you is need to go to the file that uh, we are. Yes, custom widget, right? Yes. Oh, and when you custom web view. Yes, exactly. And when you click on the right button on the web, yeah, web view, right button, and then go to mm -hmm. definition. Mm -hmm. And then we see when you go to the bottom of it, not the bottom, but when you see, um, no, actually, sorry, it's not the web view. Mm -hmm. Actually, we need the Flutter Flow uh, web view, the, 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 original, the original one. The original, the original flutter, one, yeah. exactly. The original one and when you go to the to the uh, web view when it says web view yes exactly here here, here they don't use uh, this js content if you can if you can ah, see okay, okay. It, yes so, so this, this is, is the default the web view right so these are exactly. the options that they do have which are i can put exactly. in a url i guess there's somewhere exactly. a url and then there's the um bypass domain restrictions thing must be here somewhere exactly. here url bypass exactly okay so they don't have these options yeah exactly and if you okay. want to see which options you can use just right click on the web view x and then go to definition and those actually are all the options that you can use so i can basically take and this works for any widget basically so anything exactly I, like a text field exactly. or whatever i could just select exactly. it wait i don't believe you let me try uh, yeah, sure. I don't. So really. on like a, a <laughs> so on like a homepage, uh, I've got a icon button. Yeah. So I can say go to definition. Yeah. And then I have to do it. Well, icons a weird one, right? Because that's the other one. I always want to be able to set custom icons. Uh, but these get oh no, icon button, right? So I should be able yes. to do go to definition. Yeah. And then I can see all of it. All so the definitions that I you can. can Yes. So I can copy and paste this thing, and I can make all of these different options in. Yeah, you can That's you can cool. make a custom icon using all those definitions. Well, that's really cool. Yes, yes, yeah. and uh, and yeah, yeah, and then and then yeah, the whole idea is that you 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 find you do you you see what you need, and in your case JS content, mm -hmm. and you add this JS content. And then yep. JS content uh, that's and then uh, which is that JS content in our case because we we name it JS content. And, and how did you do it from JS content to stream? How did you fix that? Yeah, you said that the thing is that the, yeah, yeah, because it's not expecting the string because uh, when you go to the web view X. And mm -hmm. uh, you can see you can see what it's expecting, and actually it's it's not expecting a string. Uh, but the problem 
is that you need to convert it uh, to uh, um, because it's, it's, it's actually expecting, uh, wait a second, because uh, it's uh, a function. I don't know what, I don't, yeah, it's some kind of a function that it's expecting. So hmm, to be honest, you need to convert the string okay. to a function. A set and, there, which is an object that defines some JavaScript. Check the example app. Okay, we only have two more minutes. Can I ask you actually a yeah. really simple question then? Sure. Let's say something so that everybody leaves. We can actually, sorry, we can something. actually uh, do this the, the next time we can actually uh, continue. So we can just. Yeah, or else we could, you're not here. Or we can post the full solution once uh, we get it working. <laughs> but uh, I have a question. Say yeah, sure. I wanted to not put in a URL into my web view and I want to put in a block of HTML uh, to display in the web view. Yeah. So I know that that's one of the options. If, for instance, yeah. if I do your method here, I know that yeah. I have these. I did uh, whatever it was the def, the fancy thing to get there, and then uh, in this uh, where is it in this facade Dart, I have different options for yeah. URL source type URL, um, but then there are also source type is just uh, HTML like raw. I think yeah. That's one of the other options here. So source type, um, uh, URL, URL bypass, or HTML, yeah? So where you can okay. just put in raw HTML. So if I, that's obviously a much smaller change. Would I literally just change it widget by the source type? I would just change like that to that. Does that work? Uh, yeah, the thing is that if you if you want to know if it works, then you have to do it uh, in the editor, not in the... Uh, oh. Yeah, so just try it there, and if you don't see any errors, it will work. Um, okay, so if I go to my custom web view too, here, and so if I change this to HTML. Yes. And if you don't see any errors, oh, wow. it should work. Uh, and so then I would just have... change, and I would just change the parameter here to be like HTML, HTML all the way along, right? Yes, like, you should try so that, that because it then matches. Yeah. Yes, you should try that because I I don't know all the functions and all the code and all the logic. <laughs> you don't know all but, the answers. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. But uh, but yeah, this is the idea actually. This is this is the ah, idea. An initial is, content. See, it's it's telling me where to fix it. Yes, this is great. This is great when you're right. using. Yes, when right. you're using a ID, it's uh, great because it's showing you. Uh, where to use, okay. uh, where to fix, and what, what to do exactly. Really cool. But yeah, you should. Uh, this should work. Okay, I will say we'll pause here. I don't know if there are any final questions people have, or if that was at all helpful or not. Thank you to everybody who showed up um, and watched me yeah. fail to build the web. Thank but, you. Um, it, please yeah, do take leave any feedback. Uh, so if this wasn't helpful, don't come next time. If it was helpful, <laughs> or if it could be better, tell us what would be more helpful. A more practical, yeah. less practical. The idea was to kind of be a little bit theoretical so you can apply it. But yeah. Cool. Can I summarize it with uh, like a two, three sentence before we go? Go for it. Yeah. Go so, the, so the thing is that we try today to uh, to just give, give uh, to take a widget and to just change and modify it so it uh, suits our needs and to add, uh, usually add uh, complexity to the widget and add some. Uh, functionality to it and uh, using some um, uh, fancy tools like uh, you 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 showed you show them and uh, yeah actually the, the what I encourage people to do is just uh, try this method and try this way and uh, they will they will actually uh, succeed I think because I think you already succeed we have like a couple of uh, difficulties uh, but I think this is uh, like a flutter flow or something like that related I hope so. It's not our fault. <laughs> no, I'm happy. I feel like I understand it a little bit better. So thank you very much, Dimitar. That yeah, thank you. Helpful. Thank you as well. Thank you as well. And yeah, thank you all and see you around.